MCAT amino acids, organic chemistry and biochemistry, favorite topic of the MCAT. The MCAT AAMC content outline specifically lists the Gabriel synthesis along with the Strecker synthesis of amino acids. This question is on the Gabriel synthesis. Now you shouldn't memorize the pathway, it's potentially complex, but what you should be able to do is look at a specific reaction and answer questions about what is occurring during each of these steps. And so our question is, the major steps in the Gabriel synthesis of alanine are outlined below. Which of the following statements is most accurate with respect to the synthesis of alanine? And what you see are four choices and each choice focuses on one aspect of the synthesis. Reaction one, two, three, and four. Let's start with A and work our way down. So A is reaction two is best catalyzed by bases such as bicarbonate. Let's take a look at reaction two and what you see is that there's an alpha hydrogen is being converted into a carbanion. So can bicarbonate do that? Well, you know bases can do it, but what you should recognize is that strong bases like hydroxide are the ones that can do it. So bicarbonate is too weak of a base to pull off an alpha hydrogen. And so we're gonna eliminate choice A and then now we're gonna look at B. Reaction three proceeds through a second order mechanism. So let's take a focus on reaction three. And what we see is that a carbanion is gonna have a methyl group added to it somehow. So think about how that might work. And what you can come up with is an SN2 reaction where you have the negative carbanion as a strong nucleophile, attacks methyl bromide. It could be methyl chloride too, but we showed you methyl bromide being the electrophile. Since bromine is a really good leaving group, it's a great reaction for SN2. There's no steric hindrance whatsoever, so you get a backside attack and you add that methyl group. Remember, alanine has a methyl group as its side chain, so that's why you use methyl bromide. So it looks like reaction three proceeds through a second order mechanism because the rate law for second order reactions is that rate equals K times an electrophile and a nucleophile. So we think that choice B is correct, so we're gonna make a quick run through C and D just to make sure there's no mistakes. Now, if you're on the MCAT, you can go to B, check it off and move on, but if you have extra time at the end, you should go back and refine your answers to make sure C and D are no good. So C is the rate law for reaction one, can be written as R equals K times sodium thalamide. And if you take a look, and an SN1 reaction, which that is describing, what you see is that sodium thalamide is actually a negatively charged nucleophile. It is not an electrophile whatsoever. And in fact, reaction that we're looking at is, is SN2. So we know we can eliminate C right away. And then we go to D and we see a, a strong base such as permanganate. Permanganate is not a base, it's a strong oxidizing agent. You probably could have eliminated that right away if you went from D, C, B, A, but regardless, we know choice B is the correct answer because reaction four is hydrolyzing an amide and an ester. We're gonna do that in heat plus acid. You can also do it in base, but you're not using permanganate as the key. Come check us out at medpathway.com.